Welcome to Harry Watts Mechanical Engineering video on ap applications. My name is Peter Cumber. I look after mechanical engineering here. I'm going to give you five, ten minutes on why you may want to come to Harry Watt. Harry Watt, it's a, it's a techno what's called a technological university. That means it's strong in engineering, strong in science. Everything is about application. So we're very good at mechanical engineering. We have close links with industry. Uh, we're a relatively small department, 100 to 140 students a year. That means by the time we're in third, fourth, fifth year, students and staff know each other reasonably well, I would say. The other thing about us is we handle the school to university transition quite well. Uh, there are a number of different things that we do for that, but I won't talk about them here. Uh, because of that, our retention is, is really quite high. Our degrees are all about industry and, and our employment is good because of that. Uh, we have an industrial panel. Any changes we're going to make to our degree, we talk to our industrial panel, make sure industry is au fait with it and happy with what we're doing. We're delivering what they want. We are second in Scotland for student satisfaction and we do well generally in an, many of the, of the university ranking uh, um, tables. Okay, so other things that we do that you may be interested in, we're very strong in formula student. If you're not familiar with this, this is an IMEC -E competition to take a car from design to build to test at Silverstone every year. Um, our students are involved with, we've started moving into Formula E, which is uh, the electric version of Formula Student. Uh, this involves a multidisciplinary team of students. It's driven by the students, mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, even some business students get involved with this. Our programs, they're all accredited by the IMEC -E so that you become a chartered engineer at the end of the process with some work experience, relevant work experience. BNG is four years, MNG is five years, but with appropriate qualifications, you've got second year direct entry. Engineering, you can think of it as the, the, the topics we've got here. We've got materials, we've got dynamics, fluids, thermodynamics, and design and manufacture. As well as that, you're going to learn some electrical engineering, there'll be some management, uh, and there'll be some mathematics. Our first year is designed to be flexible so that if you come in to do physics, for example, at the end of the first year, you can transfer into mechanical with no problem whatsoever. Similarly, students in mechanical or electrical can transfer in and out of those degrees. Generally, we get a few physicists come our way. One or two mechanicals might go the other way. When people talk about mechanical engineering, they often talk about engines, and they feel that that is mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineering is far more than engines. We've got some pictures here of some other activities that are mechanical engineering, something to do with nanotechnology. We've got a photovoltaic uh, desalination plant. That's something that turns salt water into fresh water. And some other pictures here. A haptic device, if you're not familiar with that, that would be uh, virtual reality, but it's not about vision, it's about touch. Another thing about Harriet Watt is you've if you're Scottish, you will have know about Scholar. It's a virtual learning environment. We have our own virtual learning environment here, Vision. We use it a lot. Uh, gives the students an opportunity to get hold of far more material than they would see in a lecture. Uh, we also use lecture cap capture technology. So what we say, what we write at the same time, students use that as a very good tool for revision. Uh, we also use electronic paper, uh, if you're not familiar with this. This allows us to do class tests and assessments and get feedback to students almost instantaneously. As well as that, we've got 3D printing facilities used for rapid prototyping. This is a rapidly changing technology that's um, still looking and finding applications. Uh, we haven't got metal printing. It does exist, um, but that is coming along for us. As well as that, we've got our advanced, advanced manufacturing center where you can think of computer-controlled mechanical engineering. If you can compute, CAD it, computer aided design it, then these machines can build it for you. 
the end of the mechanical engineering degree, the, the final two years are spent on a group project. Um, you can think of this as uh, a really quite an impressive project. You're put into groups of five students and you're given a piece of paper in fourth year and that is a project spec. You're given a budget of a thousand pounds typically and you take that project spec all the way through to prototype over the course of 18 months. So I've got a couple of examples here of the students, what the students have produced. We've, 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 uh, these change every year. So a few years ago we had uh, the students building hydrofoils and we went out and tested those on the local canals. And uh, if you're not familiar with hydrofoils, we've got some pictures of hydrofoils on the, on the slide here. And another example of a group project, uh, we got the students to build a hovercraft. So this is a standard hovercraft. It's powered by an engine. We also had a group who, who designed and built a man or woman powered hovercraft, which was also successful. If you have any questions, we have an email address you can contact us on here. Uh, I'll stop there. Thank you very much for listening to our video.